Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is still Thursday, May 28th, 2020. Uh, I wasn't sure <laughs> if I wanted to do this second video or not today. But I thought to myself, well, I've already been accused of being a racist by a bunch of clowns, realistically, because they don't pay attention to what I was saying. But that's okay. Um, you know, that's fine. But I'm going to do this from the perspective of a white person, okay? I'm going to just do this as a, from a perspective of a white person. Why destroy your own crap? I will never, as long as I live, understand, okay? Um, and, I, and, and actually, you know, because that's what I'm going to be accused of. I'm looking at it from a white perspective. But I'm actually looking at his perspective as a mature adult human being, okay? I understand being angry because of an event that happened. I can understand being uh, frustrated and upset and, and those type of things, which is completely understandable. Oh, excuse me. Completely understandable, okay? But the reaction of people, I will never understand this, okay? I will never understand it. Uh, the rioting, destroying your own stuff, it makes absolutely no sense to me. And I'm not going to turn this into a race thing, okay? Um, you know, and I'm sure that some people would love me to do that because, uh, you know, it, listen, tragedies happen. Wrongdoings happen. They happen to everybody, you know. Um, it affects people. That's understandable absolutely understandable but the reaction that you take after that type of situation happens like I said pursue justice find out all the facts get it out there you know um, let the let the court system deal with the situation and stuff like that burning down your own neighborhood looting stores were you doing it for Floyd yeah I'm stealing all this furniture out of Target because I'm doing it for Floyd Come on. It's an excuse by certain individuals to loot, to, to destroy property, and all that type of stuff. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It makes no sense, you know. And I'm sure people are going to say, well, you know, they're just, they're venting their frustration. Well, there's positive ways to vent your frustration. There's ways to get your point across without destroying things, uh, you know. Again, it makes absolutely no sense to me. And I really, I would really like people to explain it to me, if you would. Uh, because I really, I, like I said, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, uh, again, if, if you can explain it to me, I would be more than happy to listen. Because here's the thing. I'm always more than happy to have a good debate, okay? So, if I make a statement, guys... And, and I want to clarify this from something somebody else said before, okay? If I make a statement and I'm wrong about something that I said, I'm the first one to come on here and say that I'm wrong. Now, I hadn't watched the video of what had happened when I made the first video. I came on the next day, made the second video, okay? And basically said I had watched the video, um, terrible situation. Let's remember something here, okay? Before we jump any further into the, uh, the situation, there's parts of that video that people are not seeing. What they see is a compliant gentleman being walked to the police around to the police car. So the thing that I question, and I don't know I, if you have some kind of intelligence in your head, I would hope that you would question too, what happened? between the point where that camera cuts off and you can't see what happens anymore and what happened when they got around that police car, okay? To the point, the next thing you know, the guy was on the ground, um, you know, with two cops on top of him. Why did it go to that level? That would be my question, okay? So, when I say I want to know all the facts about a situation, that's what I mean. I want to know all the facts, okay? The reaction that has happened because of the situation should never happen. Uh, it's ridiculous that it's happened. But people want to play that game. They want to play the victim. 
Um, you know, I had somebody and in, in, in a comment today, and I replied to them, and I will tell you exactly what I said to them. All right, I had somebody in the comments today say, "Don't compare you being profiled to being black. You have no idea." And I've said before, I don't know what it's like to be black because I'm not black. I'm white, but I've been profiled, and that's what happens to a lot of people. The way you look, the way you act, the way you talk, okay? People get profiled of all colors. Then ask you a question, okay? Here's a great question, okay? Let's ask our Muslim Americans how they feel. How they feel about some of the ways that they've been treated, okay? How did, how did Muslim Americans feel after 9-11 happened and they were attacked in their stores and stuff like that? Did they burn their own stores down? Did they destroy their stuff? Did they steal everything out of their own stores? Well, wait a minute. No, they didn't do that. Okay. Let's think, folks. Okay. Certain people, and I'm not going to say a race because it's ridiculous to, to break it down into a race, but I'm just going to say certain people will use any kind of tragedy as an excuse to steal, to hurt other people, to do those type of things. Okay. You know, what happened to that gentleman is a tragedy that never should have happened. And I've said that, okay? But of course, I'm being accused of being a racist, but whatever, I don't really care. You can call me whatever you want. It doesn't really make any difference to me because, you know, certain people's opinion is not going to change who I am. I am still what I consider a decent person. I try to help people, and I don't care what color people are, okay? So whatever, you know. Think whatever you want, say whatever you want, that's fine. But I would like to know, realistically, as a white person, and I, and this is a real legitimate question, as a white person looking at this situation, if some of you can explain to me why people will destroy and burn down their own crap, steal from stores, burn down um, like McDonald's, uh, you know, the... Uh, I don't know what the was if it was a Rite Aid store or whatever, but they destroy their own neighborhoods. Why do people do that? Doesn't make sense to me. Makes absolutely no sense. So I'm really curious about that. Why why people do that? Okay. So if you could explain that to me, that I'm all ears. I am all ears. And don't tell me it's frustration or it's anger, and that's why we have to do that. No, you don't. There's other ways to vent. There's other ways to you know to to protest to you know, seek justice. Destroying things, hurting people, uh, burning things down, stealing anything that's not nailed down, that's you, that you're using something as an excuse to do what you want to do. You're not doing it for Floyd, okay? So don't ever even get on here and say, oh, we're doing this because we're angry and we're upset and we're doing it for Floyd. Bull crap. I'm not buying it. So, again, I'm probably going to get more hate for this video, but you know what? Guess what? That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. Like I said, I don't get it. I just don't get it. So if somebody could explain that to me, that would be fantastic because I really, truly don't get it. Um, as I'm leaning up against one of the pallets, I wanted to show you. Uh, they got the, I had called uh, Lowe's, and uh, so the delivery of the blocks came, okay? These are what I'm going to be using for my raised bed. So I had originally thought maybe... I would, uh, you know, get it piecemeal, put it in the car, bring it back, and do all that type of stuff. But then I quickly realized how much work that would be. Uh, so if I can, ha you know, it was a one-time delivery fee. It's like seventy or sixty-nine dollars. And so one, two, three, and four pallets, uh, whatever. And then I still have the leftover blocks over here. But whatever I don't use for my raised beds over here. Um, they can be used for another project, so that's not not a problem. Okay. Um, again, guys, you know what? I just I, I I'm frustrated as I'm frustrated as anybody else. Okay. Um, I don't get it. I really tr truly don't get it. The reaction that certain people do when something happens it makes absolutely no sense to me. None whatsoever. So I like I said, I'm all ears. I want to hear the justification. This is what I want to hear. I want to hear the justification for burning down your own neighborhoods, for looting stores in your own neighborhoods, for setting stores on fire in your own neighborhoods. I want to hear that justification because there is none, okay? Um, I don't care how angry or upset you are. 
I'm going to tell you what, I've been pissed off, man. I'll tell you what, it's like uh, when my wife and I went our separate ways and she took off and she took my kids, okay, and she left, man, I was angry. I'm like, this isn't right. What's up with this? How, how dare she take my kids? If she wanted to go, man, she could go. But how dare she take my children, right? I was upset. I was angry. Did I burn my house down? Did I steal my neighbor's stuff? Again, uh, the reaction of people in circumstances, I, I don't get it. So, again, please explain to me. Really, I hope, I hope somebody can. Uh, and if you feel that you need to unsubscribe because I'm asking a realistic question and I don't get it, um, that would be your prerogative. Okay, it really would be. Um, you know, I'm going to continue to do what I do here. I want to continue to share what I'm doing here. But you know what? It's like, you know, I had people say, well, you need to stick to prepping and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? It, political stuff, the stuff that's going on around the world, that all has a reason why we're doing what we're doing with prepping. All those type of things have a reason to do with what we're doing. And uh, I think it's a legitimate question uh, to question why. Why people act the way that they do. So, a lot of it is zero respect, in my opinion. They have no respect for anything or anybody. So, they feel justified in their behavior. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here for now. Please like, comment, and share. <laughs> uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, basically most of my stuff is obviously going to be about prepping and prepping related in, uh, information and uh, living off grid and all those type of things. So, uh, you know, I just, I'm going to always question things. I'm always going to have an opinion because I'm a human being, uh, you know, and I will always question things. So definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say. All right. Uh, remember, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Also remember, guys, um, you know, one step, or, uh, yeah, STD. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm going, I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. Can't think clearly right now. Hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. And also remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, stay focused on those dreams, stay positive, stay away from negativity. What's happening because of this incident around the country, that's not positive in any way, shape, or form, okay? And it, re and it resolves nothing, okay? So I want to hear what you have to say. And I'm going to tell you what, a lot of you out there being quiet as church mice, not sharing your opinion because you don't want to upset the apple cart. Well, I'm good at upsetting the apple cart. Uh, I piss people off all the time, so why not some more being honest? See, I'll say what a lot of people won't say. So, anyway, I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.